So our choices here are three spades or four spades. We have not shown support yet, right? One spade past two clubs showed no support. I just said we're going to game. Partner bid two no Trump. Two no Trump said I have a balanced hand and presumably I'm not particularly worried about one of these suits. Do we like our hand? Let's see, seven, 10, 11, 12, 13 points, counting a lot of jacks. I don't know, it's close, but I think I'm just gonna jump to, to four spades here. Partner probably has something in hearts. That's not such good news for your hand. If partner has a lot of extra values, they know that you have 13 points. They know that you have three spades. They know that you have clubs. If partner is looking at like the ace, queen, third of clubs and an ace and a king, partner can go on. One of the worst phrases teachers use is this idea of a closeout bid. How many of you have heard closeout bid? I, I hate the terminology closeout bid. I think it's misused all the time. Closeout bids are non, are, aren't very common. The most common closeout bids are when your partner has really limited their hand. So in other words, if partner opens a no trump, you can now bid three no trump, and that's a closeout bid because your partner is not supposed to bid again. When your partner opens two hearts and you bid four hearts, that's a closeout bid because your partner has already shown what they have. But here, your partner has opened one spade that showed 12 to 21. We bid two clubs and partner bid two no trump. What does two no trump here mean? It means they have a balanced hand. Does it mean anything about minimum or maximum? Absolutely not. Partner can have extras. Because I just said, don't jump to three no trump. Some people play a jump to three no trump shows a particular strength. And I, I don't like that. It's so important that we go slowly that I'm willing to give up three no trump as a definition of some balanced hand because I want us to just go slowly. I want to hear what my partner likes and doesn't like. I don't want us to be jumping around. The point of playing two over one is that we don't have to. So here are partners to no Trump showed a balanced hand type. Since we know that partner would open one no Trump with a balanced hand type within 15 to 17, we can be pretty sure that partner doesn't have that hand. So partners to no rebid is usually 12 to 14, but it could even be 18 or 19. It just can't be 15 to 17. So it's a really good question that Laura asked of what does Juno bid, Juno mean here? Usually, usually it's like 11 to 14, but it could be a big hand, 18, 19, that's gonna bid again. So here we jump to four spades to say, hey, we have a game forcing hand, but we don't have anything that we really love about our hand for slam, and we have three spades.